Man, oh man, oh man. Everybody's talking about uranium these days. I've had actually one of my private clients, Des. You know who you are, Des. I'm coming for you, mate. <laughs> one of my private clients is like, he's been, people have been, not only has my private clients, but I've been seeing people been crazy about uranium. Uranium, 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 uranium. This whole year, uranium, uranium, uranium. It's like, oh my goodness, uranium, uranium. It's like, are you about uranium? I've, I guess you're about uranium because you clicked on this video, right? So you're about, yes, John, I'm uranium too, right? So, so I'm going to talk to you about, guys, why I believe that uranium, to me, on a technical level basis, maybe even fundamental, of why we could be seeing, or we could, we could be getting ready for one crazy move and maybe a massive bottoming pattern is forming in uranium and why we could be seeing lift off from here. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. So I've just recorded a brand new trading course and I'm giving you a free access to this. This is broken down into four different parts. Part number one is about the foundations, the biggest mistakes you're making right now, what goes into a good trader. Part number two is about the chart reading techniques that's been working since the 1950s. This chart reading, part number three, advanced chart reading, is about the techniques that I've actually only learned from my millionaire mentor, not from books. And then also my number one top trading sister in mastery. I give you all of that for free and I'm giving it to you. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now or click on the very first link in the description. Alrighty, traders. So let's have a look here. Let me minimize you. Right, so firstly, this is the, I'm going to be looking at two different things here, guys. Let me look at the URA, Uranium X. Ura global X uranium ETF, right? And this is obviously URA through here. There's obviously a lot of different uranium things here I'm gonna be looking through. Or this one here, and plus also there's another one, another company there. Anyway, so let me share this with you here. So you people have been, okay, this is what I want. Can you leave a comment section below and let me know what your view of uranium is? Obviously you clicked on this video to, to obviously see about uranium right you're obviously you're into uranium because guess what you're watching this video right now right so leave a comment section below and tell me why is uranium such a big topic around the trading market hemisphere these last 12 months because as i said before like you know one of my private clients his name's des and He's just been uranium, uranium, uranium. He's been massive on uranium. He's been massive on other things well too, but we won't talk about those, but <laughs> I'll be easy on you, Des, don't worry. Anyway, if you are interested in becoming a private client, guys, for all of 2024, second link in the description, click on there, book a call with me. I'll talk to you about the coaching program. And even if you're not a good fit for the coaching program, on the call that I personally will call you, I'll be able to give you a free coaching call as well too, just to be able to help you out as well too. So if you do need some help, guys, that second in the description, I will set you straight when it comes to trading these markets for income. I'm your man. Second in the description there, guys. Click on there. So, and obviously, Dez is with me next year as well, too. So, be able to meet Dez. You'll be able to meet Dez, who I'm talking about right now. Hey, Dez, I saw you from the YouTube video, right? Anyway, so, uranium. What is the whole thing? What is the whole big thing about uranium here? From a technical level basis through here, right? Fundamental level basis. On a fundamental level basis, guys, and again, please leave a comment section below and let me know where do you think, if it's URA, where do you think uranium is gonna go, URA? Or where do you think, what, what do you think is gonna happen through here? And also, also, why is uranium such a big topic? Like why do we, what, why is everyone so talking about it for? There's so many amazing opportunities out there right now. Um, no one's talking about the, you know, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in just a minute. So, this URA, as you can see here, I'm a very big technical analysis person. I believe the charts really start to form foundations and so on and so forth, right? So, and I believe everything goes in what? Cycles. Everything goes in cycles. I'll give you, I'll give, uh, I'll give you an example here, right? So, let's actually apply some simple analysis to what I'm talking about here when it comes to fundamental and technical levels. Okay? On a fundamental level basis, what, what has not done well in the last 10 years. The mining sector, right? The metals in the mining sector. Mm -hmm. So on a simple, fundamental, common sense basis, what's probably going to do really, really well soon? Mm -hmm. I guess the metals and miners, right? <laughs> I know that's pretty common sense, right? But this is why, you know, we have mining crash, mining flattening, mining bottoming, mining boom. Da, 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 right so for any of you guys that are in australia right now 
and you're looking to buy some property, make sure you look at, uh, if you're looking at property, make sure you're looking at places like northern of eastern Australia, like you know, up Cairns area. Look at places like Perth. Why? Because they're, especially Perth, is a massive mining place. What's going to happen when the mining boom happens, right? Which I believe all boats, or all boats lift all water. <laughs> Help me out, guys. What's that saying? Leave a comment below. Leave me. Help me out here, guys, right? So what I'm saying through here is that when we're looking at this uranium market here and this is, is out there, I can see all this happening, right? So again, for you guys in Australia, guess what? If you're looking to buy property, Perth is your place and maybe some other mining sectors, but plus Perth, why Perth? Because when we do eventually go through the next mining boom, which is going to happen, right? It's not like we're never gonna go through a mining boom again. We went through a mining boom 10 years ago. We went through a crash. Now we've been pretty flat at the low levels, right? I'm talking about mining because I believe a lot of these commodity sector, we're gonna go through a massive commodity mining metals sort of boom from there, right? That's the reason why I'm talking about this, this right now, right? So, and the reason why that's important, because if you're looking to buy a property, guess what? You can, you can benefit from the mining. Now, a bit of caveat, what I just said there about the property market over in Perth. Here's a big thing for you guys. If you are gonna be capturing that next 10 year radical massive move up and potentially see a massive surge when the next mining boom happens, guess what? You wanna be alert of that, because that's when you wanna be selling the property, right? Because I had so many people, right? The last mining boom happened, and I had actually not, I had a few few people that I know that rode the mining boom up, and then when the mining boom crashed, and properties over in Perth crashed like sixty plus percent. When the mining boom crashed, there will be a mining boom soon. Just be aware of that, and then when it really starts to take off, don't get greedy. Take your little chicken eggs and run home. Right? Actually, no. Hopefully, you've got two things going on. Right? You'd be part part of the actual markets itself. And then maybe maybe you're part of that as well too. Even if you're not part of the property market, maybe start looking at the mining sector, right? The, the coming mining boom is is on the verge of something massive there. Anyway, so that's what I believe anyway. Anyway, for you guys that are in Australia right now, what's your opinion on that? Anyway, if you if you're if you're from Perth or you're from a mining town right now, leave a comment below, leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think. Even if you're overseas. Let me know if you're part of a mining place there and what's been happening there lately. Are we starting to see a pickup in the property market through there and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, so that being said, the reason why I had that fundamental basis there because I do believe that just by looking at this chart, which I'm going to bring up this chart here, which is from the URA, right? And I know my, my private, once again, my private client, Des, he's like, John, yes, he's talking about uranium. Yes. Right, my all year he's been talking about that. Right, he's just recently signed up with another year with a coaching with me. Just recently, again, guys, if you do need some help, you want to be with me for all the next year and actually show you how to trade these markets, not invest for long term. Like invest for long term, yeah. But if you want to trade the markets properly and actually trade, look for good trading opportunities. I'm your man. Second link in the description, guys. Click it. Book a call with me. I'll personally call you. And if you're, even if we're not a good fit, guys, guess what? I'll be able to still help you on the phone anyway. Right, say, hey, this is what you need to do. I'll share, share with you. But look at this here. This is the, this happens to all markets, right? Look here. Bam, we have the crash. Then we have the flattening out period. And then we have what coming soon. So as you can see, we're starting to what? We're starting to develop this here. Are you seeing what I've seen? You see what I see? Do you see what I see? Are you seeing this? Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Right? This is what I do see happening. And this is what's going on right now in the marketplace. Right? So we're going to be ready for this, right? Because again, preparation means opportunity equals being lucky, right? Again, I spoke to I spoke to a guy recently and he's like, oh, I'm in trading and so on and so forth. He goes, oh, but man, trading is actually quite hard, isn't it? And, you know, I, we missed out on the on the boom on the stock market recently and we missed out on the on the crypto boom. And he goes, oh, I'm just not too quite sure, John. I said, let's, let's, let's apply some common sense here. If you're not worrying about trading the markets, being very active, getting in, getting out, looking for opportunities for income, da, 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 da. If you are, I'm your man. Second link in the description, book a call with me. I'll set you straight with my private coaching. But if, if set that aside, I said, I said to him, and that's what I said to him, right? And again, I'm gonna repeat what I said in this video. It's actually not that difficult to make money from the markets. What is hard? The patience. Why? Because I just said that everything goes in cycles, all right? Everything. We go through the boom, we go through the bust. And we got to the quiet period. This is even what happened in the stock, the, the property market, right? The Before 08, we had the boom. And then 08, we had the bust. 
And then when the, and then we had what? And then we had the sideways period. Then what happened? What happened? It was 2000 and what? 12. This is 08, 09. It was 2020, 12 when the market started to pick back up again. Whoa, hang on a minute. Are you saying, John, that pretty much most things go in cycles and all we have to do is just look at the cycles and see what hasn't done well in the last 10 years is probably going to do well in the next 10 years? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Pretty common sense, right? Because guess what? It's not like we're never going to go through a mining boom again, right? And when the, go through, when the mining boom kicks in, which I believe it's probably not going to be now or, and maybe starting to form a bottom now. Who knows, right? Who knows? All I do know is that probably by 2026 and 27 and 28, we're going to be in the middle of an incredible mining boom. And everyone that's been talking about the crypto market and this market and that market, da, 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 da. guess what? Oh my goodness, are you in gold? Everyone's talking about gold, 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 right? I'm, your man Johnny Hell is get you in early, right? Now, what, what am I saying here? I'm saying that I do believe we're going to see an incredible move. That's what I'm saying in all this sector here. But what, what else am I saying through here? I'm also saying that it's going to require patience. So many people are like, John, I got into this trade, has done nothing for five days. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, stop, stop. If that's an investing position, you say, I'm buying this to 2030, I'm going to let it go, right? This is more like a 10-year type of a trade or position, not what happens this next six months. No, right? All we do know is we're probably going to go through a massive mining boom again soon. And when that happens, we're going to start to see a big, big pickup. And what's been happening here already, look at this here, massive bottoming pattern and now low, massive higher low. Right, this low period through here, massive high low, and now we're getting ready to break these highs. Interesting, interesting stuff. So maybe uranium. I know Des. Des is going to be like, I told you, John. I told you. I told you, John. 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 He's, again, my private client Des has been on me on my back all year about uranium. 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 Now he's probably going to be happy. He's like, Yes, John, talk about uranium. Anyway, so that's what I'm seeing through there from a funnel of basis. Now, if I go to a, uh, is this a stock? I have no idea what this thing is. Company, it's a company. All right. <laughs> right, all I know is a chart, right? All I'm saying is if I'm looking for me guys on investment opportunity, oh, maybe Uranium looks like a really good long-term play, investment opportunity, right? Um, not, I'm not talking about options and stuff like that, right? Just investment. But from a trading perspective, I also have something that looks like it's going to be a good for trading wise, right? Getting in and holding it for a few weeks, maybe for a month or two and getting out benefit from that, right? So what I'm talking about here is U-R-O-Y here. I honestly believe that this is, this is right now, anyway, I'm speaking, we've actually got this low and we've got this period of higher low through here. We've got my moving average coming up strong. So if we get some sort of, if we get some sort of like large bar, we get, for some reason we get this small bar through here and we get a, some sort of big strong, strong bar breaking through there, which by the way, this is the daily chart. So the daily chart would look something like that. Then that tells me guys, especially breaking past this high here, that tells me that this stock here is now possibly on its way up to $5 through there. Now that doesn't look like much from a move perspective, but from here, Oh, from there, that's like almost 50% move, 50% move. Not bad, not bad. You apply a bit of a leverage to that thing and not bad, not bad, not bad, right? So hope you can see there. There's a bit of a gift for you guys, you ROI. Again, traders, I'm not telling you to go buy this right now, right? No, I'm not saying that right now, right? I'm For me personally, I, I actually have trading rules and then I have a precise entry bar or candle that I'm looking forward to get in on. So if this, what I'm looking for really is a strong large bar, right? If we get something like this, right? And it just goes do to do like this, like, and does something like that. Nah, you you better believe I'm not, I'm not part of that one. No, I want a very strong bar, right? I want something that does this. I want something, a little small bar, maybe small bar. And then yeah, here we go, right? Bam, like that. Then we, if we do something like that, we may get a little bit of a pullback initially just to shake the weak hands out. And then away we go to the upside. So there we go, traders. Again, leave a comment section below. Let me know what you think is going on right now with uranium. Are you uranium? Are you about uranium? Are you seeing uranium? Have a big move. Let me know what you think in the comment section below.